Hey guys, it's Denise, and I'm back with you today to show you my Slocum's Joe Donut slash ice cream shop. Uh, this was, uh, the donut shop stuff was added a week or so ago into the Creation Club, and when I found that out, I just ran to go get it, and the arcade stuff too, I, I got that one. And so, I'm, I'm just really excited to use this stuff in my build now. It's just an extra food item that I'm just really excited about. So, and they're so colorful and everything. So, well, you guys know how I love all that cute stuff. So, uh, anyways, I'll show you uh, what I did here, and I really hope that you guys like it. Um, the Slocum's Joe, some of the pieces come in like white brick, and some in like a brown brick. So, I decided to go with the white brick and I found these retextured bricks that match them in the USO, so I just combined that with it and some of the snappy house kit uh, Bunker Hill ceiling pieces with the trim, and then put the Slocum's Joe roof on top just to kind of, so it wouldn't look so much like a box. <laughs> I mean, it is hard with these pieces because they're all flat pieces, you know, it's hard to kind of make it to where it doesn't look like a box so <laughs> and so here is the main area um, as usual I could have added more to here but I just you know uh, I wasn't having any crashing or lag issues here so I didn't want to push my luck so <laughs> um, this guy here is a guard he's sitting over here at these cupcake chairs I glitched a guard chair in there so he'd stay is one of the new video games that you can you can actually play them. I haven't seen the settlers play them, so I don't know if they can or not, but that would be interesting to find out. Now I'm going to leave a link to my pace bin where I link all the mods that I've used for this build. And uh, you can find out where I got all these pieces from, but m mostly I use um, a lot of mods from my friend Konata. I don't know how to say the last part of his screen name, so I just call him Konata. <laughs> but anyways, he's a really nice uh, person, and he's uh, made some stuff for me by request. So. What would I call a good day? Yeah, this is from a Mad Hatter mod. Thought it being appropriate since it's getting close to Valentine's Day. So she's over here carting a bunch of donuts and nuka love. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Now, some of you may be wondering, especially like new subscribers, may be wondering why I leave my head on and uh, during my tours. It's so that y'all can see. Um, the different pieces that I used to decorate with. So when I get close to them, you can see what I used. So here's the front, and you just come in here, and you can go either to the right for the ice cream, or to the left for donuts. Or you could go through both, but you have to go back through the middle to get back to either side. So, <laughs> uh, so I've just got some little side tables here. And then we've got some coffee, more coffee. And on every table I glitched one of the little coffee stations, that way if they need a refill they don't have to go wandering around to try to find it. They can just do it at the table and get it refilled. Uh, some of the tables I left blank just because, um, you know, like I was saying before, I didn't want to push my luck with too many decorations. But I think it's plenty enough decorated, so leaving a couple of tables undecorated, I think I can uh, get away with that. <laughs> I shrunk down these donuts so they would fit properly on the saucers. 
where you'll see a lot of, lot of things that I shrunk down or blew up in size and sorry I know PS4 people can't do that but I'm hoping maybe y'all just get a kick out of it and find the fun in it I guess okay so we looked on that side let's look on uh, this side I guess and then we'll go back there's so much stuff in here to show you okay so this is the ice cream side so what I did was I made some of my own um, milkshake thingies so I took one of the strawberry ice cream cones that comes with um, my friend Konata's ice cream machine mod and then I just stuck one of the gumdrops from Kitty Kingdom on there of course I had to shrink it all down um, and same with this one and then I stuck the spoon in there which it was not easy to make these at all so <laughs> I'm kind of proud of those because they were very annoying to make and then these donuts over here I just like blew them up to giganto size and plopped them down there I thought well some kid will come in here and eat them <laughs> somebody left an ice cream cone out here we do have perfectly preserved pie here we can make cakes donuts ice cream or ice cream cake or whatever which you'll see in the back shortly because I have made some specialty donut slash ice cream cakes that people make special orders of so um, oh well I guess we'll start at this end because it, it will probably flow better so I just kind of tried to decorate up these shelves up here with the clock everyone knows what time it is um, a place where they can get you know not salt and pepper we're gonna pretend like this is like sugar and cinnamon or something in there <laughs> and um, whatever else they need so I just um, stock these sh shelves up with some of the ingredients that you use to make the actual donuts with and then some stuff that you might see in a bakery shop snack cakes um, the buzz bites um, these cookie tins with maybe coffee or cookies in them and then the shortening obviously is used for for cooking so starting over here I use these shelves I don't think I've ever used these shelves before but I decided to use them and and stock some of the Slocum Joe t-shirts and stuff on there so as you're coming through since we're going through the backwards way when you get to the end you can get your souvenirs and whatnot so I might as well just go through this way anyways <laughs> anyways you probably want to kick me in the head alright so here's the ice cream counter as you can see the uh, they just take he takes the ladle and just scoops out the ice cream for people and these are actually cupcakes that are blown up and then sunk down into there um, another one of part of Kanata's mod plentiful workshop so I don't know I guess this could be like the icing they put on top of the cakes or whatever or top of the ice cream or maybe it can pretend to be ice cream I don't know I just needed something extra to fill those slots so it is whatever we imagine it to be <laughs> And these are Kanata's slushy machines. Now, uh, slushy machines, I always seem they, they they are always moving, like they have movement. And, um, I mean, he made these really nicely. But I thought I'd add some little moving pieces in there to make it look like it's spinning and spinning up the slushy and everything. So I use these little spinner rooftop pieces. And then I think that's an Institute fan down there. <laughs> so yeah and then they've got all these cups you know they can fill up and get whatever they want to drink and then here's one of the little ice cream machines and then here's all of our cupcakes and then we've got stuff to drink and 
then there's the guy. Huh? And then you just come over here and grab whatever else you want and then go back through the line to pay for it again, I guess. <laughs> if you're wondering what these things are, these are um, trash cans. So, there we go with the coffee. I glitched a frog magnet in there. I don't know why, but I did. So got like all the coffee mostly is on the top and then the, uh, or I'm sorry, the coffee is on the bottom and the tea is on the top. So I put milk in the middle to kind of break up the monotony because you, you put milk in coffee or you can put it in tea. And then I put the lemonade up here, which you can add lemon um, to your tea. Uh, just to, again, break up the separation there of the row, many, many rows of cups, <laughs> which my friend Gary razzed me about because he's like, you got 200 cups of coffee up there, Denise. I'm like, thanks, Gary. <laughs> so here's one of these. Um, I made this pastry stand out of the those white tables, the white round tables, like right there. And I just shrunk them down and stacked them on top of each other and then stocked the donuts on here, which took a very, very long time. And so, yeah, but I think it looks nice. I, I looked up some old time donut shop pictures and a lot of these old time donut shops had these pastry stands. So I thought adding one would be fun. And then I didn't put any extra donuts in, in this uh, because, um, as you can probably see back there, I have enough donuts stocked. <laughs> and here's our sweet rolls, and then here's our Slick'em Joe guy. Well, hello there. For some reason, he likes to always face the other direction. But, um, yeah, there you go. He's uh, a Slick'em's Joe a robot. And so he runs the donut side. He's cute. I love him. <laughs> so over here, just got more donut boxes you you can grab if you want to get a dozen or two dozen donuts, and then more um, other stuff that you can buy. Let's go to the back. So we need to see what they're doing back there, right? <laughs> Can I see it? Alright, so here's their little, I guess, employee entrance to get in the back way. their place where they can store stuff whether it be personal or work related items and you know I imagine they'd need stuff to clean with coolant for the freezers gas I don't know for the stove batteries for whatever else <laughs> extra uniforms extra hats towels sheets to clean up messes with or use as a tarp to cover up so it won't get dusty stuff won't get dusty I don't know and then over here's just the cutesy stuff mostly you know lunch boxes for their lunch most of that stuff is just shrunk down to fit in there and I really liked this idea of making a little clock in time clock and this is a idea of my friend Otto it's automatic uh, games or gaming and I'll link his channel he's been streaming uh, his Slickums Joe build so um, I've been watching him and been having fun doing that so here's just a little resting area or whatnot here's the safe and then here's the manager he's got his coffee back here and his water and that everyone else can use too obviously it's a yes. little break area so He's got everything he needs here, pretty much. He's got to have coffee, so, well, actually, it's a cappuccino. 
He's got to have something to keep him going. So back here, they just have you know a couple Let's pallets full of stuff that that they may need um, for storing stuff or repairing stuff with. And I'm trying not to let you see that right hand side there because those are my specialty cakes I want to get to here in a minute. But um, I just kind of put all kinds of stuff back here that they, like I said, that they might use or need. Um, maybe they use the Mr. Handy parts to repair, to uh, repair the Slocum Joe robot out there or something. This is a freezer. I know it's an institute cabinet, but it looks like a freezer to me. A deep freeze, whatever. <laughs> so I stuck these shelves just by hand and then made everything static. Some of these items are from Creative Clutter, though. That one is. Same with these dirty dishes. And they had the dirty, the dirty ones, so I want to make it look like, you know, oh, got the dirty dishes, throw them in the sink, wash them. Here's the clean ones on this side. This is their prep area, so I left it blank because uh, this is where they're going to make their specialty cakes and stuff. So it needs to be clear, like most of the time. And then they can wash their hands here. They've got towels, a place to throw the dirty towels. And they've got extra food on the on the bottom there. Bread boxes, extra donut mix. And just extra storage. Extra donut racks. And so, like any pastry shop, um, would probably have special um, requests and specialty cakes or donuts or ice cream so I just made some of these um, I thought they would be fun to, to do here's the um, green one they've got ice cream pistachio donuts and green gumdrops and a green lollipop and a random cactus this one is the dog meat one. He's got the rainbow donuts and the strawberry ice cream. I think this is my favorite one, the vault tech girl. I put a little chef hat on her and I made her holding a coffee cup. So yeah, I really like this. The next one is the flamingo. Put him, I gave him a little hat. So he's holding up one of the bar donuts there, and then he's floating on top of some sprinkled donuts, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was cute. We don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and actually, this one, um, molten lava cake thing, was. Uh, JPEGO Death and Automatic's um, suggestion, they wanted to build it there in, in Otto's Slocum's Joe, but he didn't um, he didn't know if he could get away with it with him um, filming his commercials and whatnot, so I told him I'll make one for you and uh, see what you think about it. This one is kind of magical. When you get up on it, you only see a few red sparks coming out, but as you back away... Ooh, look at all that smoke coming out. Coming in it really starts smoking when you back away, <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I thought these were fun. Uh, I really like them. So let me know what you guys think. Does it suck? Is it good? Whatever. <laughs> so here is the back area. Where people do strange things, like stock 200 donuts. So yeah, here's about every flavor of donut you could ever want. Um, and they're stacked in an aluminum tray. That's the bottom half of the, oh, the meat, the can of meat. And I just blew it up and stuck all the donuts in there. Got a nice looking colorful stove. Stocked more donuts over here. We got the bar donuts up there. 
some pink bar donuts down there. There's our donut fryer. Our signs, please no smoking. Are you smoking? You better not be smoking. So yeah, he likes to face the fryer, so I guess maybe he wants to cook or something. But yeah, he never wants to face forward unless he talks to me. So, here we go back this way. This is the ice cream guy. There's his little ladles for the scoop the ice cream. And he's got lots of um, stuff back here. You know, they use all these melons and lemons and, and gourds and moot fruit and tarberries to put in their donuts and ice cream to make different flavors. So I thought that, you know, I better have a little area back here where they can, you, you know, show that Ray that's God, a big part of what they do here. And then, of course, here's the perfectly preserved pie machine or ported diner. I just shrunk yeah. that down and slapped it on top of there. Got our milk. We've got the milk from the Commonwealth Pizza Mod and also the Brahma Milk from um, the Creation Club Donut Mod. So, got two different kinds of milk. Here's the other two ice cream machines over here, green and blue. But all three colors of ice cream machines house all three flavors, which is going to be mint, blue raspberry, and strawberry. So, it doesn't matter which one you build, they all give you all, every single flavor. So those are, I think, are regular sized and like this one I shrunk down and just put it on the shelf there. I really love these cupcakes. I kind of get a frame drop when I look at the cupcakes yeah. for some reason, so we'll just kind of mosey on out of here. <laughs> well that's a, that's it guys. I, I really hope that you like this place. Um, I really worked hard here, or at least I felt like I did. <laughs> so um, I hope you like it. I really love these specialty cakes. They're just adorable. I gotta look at them one more time. Oh, we'll have to make more of these. You know, I've got. We can make tons of ideas out of these. I'm trying to make a pirate one or something. I can't remember I the last time I make had one clean with the fingernails. A boat in the middle with a, a guy on there fishing or something. I think it's something. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. Gotta love these auto-closed doors. Yeehaw! This came with the donut shop stuff as well. So yeah, as soon as you come in over Sanctuary Hills Bridge, then you just run right to this donut shop. I just thought it was a good, good spot. So, um... And then here's the power armors that you get as well. So I just kind of stuck them out here to, you know, if someone needs to get home fast, they just jump in one and jetpack it out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, y'all take care. Thanks for watching and subscribing and liking my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.